Hello, Lorraine. Hello, Margarita. Hello, teacher. How, How are, are you? you? Very well. Welcome. What about you? Fine. Nice. Welcome to the class. Uh, we're going to wait a few minutes for the rest of the class to come into the... But of course, if you have questions, I'm here for you. Hello, Lorraine. How are you? Very good. Thank you. And how are you? Very, very well. Thank you for asking. And uh, how is everything going? I mean, today is kind of hot, right? Mm -hmm. How has been your day? Margarita or to me? For both of you. <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> you first. Okay. Um, today I I went to the mall with my my sister to do some duties, and uh, we leave home since. Um, 6.30 and we we were back to almost mid, midday. We we walk a lot around uh, just uh, looking around until it gets nine where is the time all the shops are open and we do the duty. <laughs> okay, very interesting. You, have, you were busy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What about you, Lorraine? How was your day? Uh, uh, really, I am uh, really tired because uh, in my in my office, uh, I'm an accountant uh, in a um, human resource company since okay. October of last year. Yeah. And it's, it's, I think uh, that... Um, very stressfully. I don't know if, if that is safe. <laughs> um, stress, a lot of stress. Not good. I'm sorry to hear that one, but at least um, you are going to relax in a few minutes. You are going to be sleeping, and uh, you know, oh that God. happens. I, I know sometimes, sometimes work is very stressful, but. At least we have something to do, right? <laughs> yes, thank you. Good. Good. We're going to wait a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, the other people come into the class. Yes, Hello, Marilyn, how are you? Hello, teacher, I'm fine, and you? Very well, here ready for wreck and roll. Okay, teacher. Oh, teacher, um, the last night I didn't receive the class um, because I was sick. Yeah, I remember that you, somebody told me something like that. But I hope you feel better yeah. today. Uh, yes, yes, yeah, very, very, very good. Perfect. So welcome to the class. We are about to start. Hello. Um, how are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening. How's it going? I'm good. Nice, very well. I'm so tired, but... Yeah, that I, is I'm ready for the class. Good, good. So tomorrow we finish, eh? It's very fast. Yes. <laughs> yes, very fast. Okay. Really. Okay, so um, today, everybody, we're going to start checking about the platform. We are going just to review to see if there is any question. Um, I know that it's going to be kind of fast because 
as I understand, everybody has finished. But anyways, we're going to check, okay? So here we go. Uh, okay, so first thing is um, objective. Um, Lorena, could you please help me reading? Yeah. Um, lesson objective, the future tense is what we use to discuss our plans and hopes. In this lesson, learn how to use going to and will to convert a statement to the future tense. English teach Joe Science explains these two different ways to talk about future plans step by step using a simple formula. Ask and answer a question using going to and will as auxiliary verbs. And practice discussing your future plans for example, an upcoming vacation, holidays with family or even, or even your plans for later in the day. Good, perfect. So um, according to what we have there, here we have a uh, little video about the future, right? With going to and will. And uh, we checked that in the class already. And also we have a knowledge check. That is about a little listening and uh, we need to check into the correct answers. Uh, any questions about this exercise? No, Okay, so that was it, right? That was the unit, I mean, the section five was very fast and very easy. So probably we're going to uh, practice a little bit about this one. Uh, so vacations are coming. What are your plans for this vacation, Mr. Rivas? Maybe I will visit uh, the Monte Cristo mountain with my family. Very good. That sounds like a very nice experience. Are you going to go by yourself or are you going to take a trip, a tour? Uh, by, by, by myself, ah, okay. with my family, yes. And are you going to spend the night there? Sorry? Are you going to spend the night there? Yes, yes. So this, is, this is the idea. Uh, we uh, stay at night, one night, because it's, it's really, uh, it's, I really like the yeah. natural, natural nature, and the, the, the weather, clean, etc. Very good. That sounds nice. I mean, I, I guess that there you will be able to see the stars and very, very good. Yes, so, the stars. Yeah. The sky is beautiful in that this is, place. Yeah. 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 You know, I, I'm thinking to do that one as well. That sounds like a very nice experience. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, Lorena, what are your plans for vacation? Uh, <laughs> uh, my plans will be staying in my house and clean everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you will yeah. be busy, but that is necessary sometimes, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's necessary because my my house is uh, with, uh, I don't know, say, <laughs> uh, it's mess, it's a mess right yes. now. My yeah. House. Okay, it's, um, yeah, it's necessary. Thing. Yeah, yep. and the thing is that for doing that one, sometimes you need a lot of time, right? It's not that you just clean and that's it. You organize everything and you change positions and then, well, all day, yes. two days, three days, and you are still not finishing, right? Yes, okay. Uh -huh. Really. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope everything fits very well everywhere. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Margarita, what are your plans for vacation? Well, I'm planning to stay at home and um, and receive an announce who is coming to the Salvador and make it, maybe <clears throat> um, maybe some 
some duties with, with her or maybe just stay at home and, and watch movies. Very good. I so, don't really know what, what we need do. So you don't have plans by now, you just check what was gonna happen. Yes, I'm checking. <laughs> sometimes that is good. I mean, sometimes uh, the better the better things come when you don't plan ahead, right? Yes. Very good, thank you. Uh, Marlene, mm -hmm. what are your plans for vacation? Uh, my plans, um, I'm going to visit my family um, on weekend. I will finish my work um, to Friday. I will come back in by April. Okay. Yes. So that sounds good. Uh, where do you say that you are going to go? What? Where do you say that you are going to go? Um, I visit my family. Oh, yeah, but where? In, here in El Salvador? Oh, yes, here in El Salvador and San, San Martin. Ah, oh, okay. Salvador. Yes. That is good. Do you have a lot of relatives there? Yes. <laughs> nice. And do you plan activities or do you are going to just to stay together and see what um, happens? Um, during week, I will stay in my house and with my son and my family. Um, maybe I will watch TV. Okay, um, perfect. Only in my house during week. That's nice. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. Kisela, what are your plans for vacation? Hi, good night. I have uh, plans first, I spend more time with my family to clean the house and fix something that is wrong in, at home. And then I, I have a meet with my prom friends class of 83. <laughs> And um, we we enjoyed in the restaurant or in a, in a mall, but we spent time to talking about our family, our daughter, and especially thing that that happened with all of us because some of them live living in the others in the other country one of they lives in in Africa Mine. because her husband is uh, he worked at the the corporación italiana algo así no sé cómo se dice okay. italian yeah. italian por, eh, no, a Spanish corporation, and he visit 14 countries because he supervised 14 countries. So it's very, very nice to speak with her because he talking about different, um, different culturas, culture. different culture, and we learn about the other people and enjoy the, remember our teenagers. And I hope that only because for the coronavirus, we prefer to stay at home and not visit beach, ni other places because my man is a old woman, he is 18, 86 years old and we care here. Um, I prefer to go to the beach or another place before the vacation when the place I are men, uh, many people or less, okay. less people. Yeah? Yeah, actually, that is true. I mean, for the coronavirus, we need to be careful on where we're going to go, right? 
um, it's interesting that you were going to meet with your uh, classmates. How many of them are you going to meet? In some time we meet 30. And today we enjoy with three of them. Um, one of them was from Spain and another from Italy. Uh, three of them lives in Canada, the two. And it's very interesting, very, very interesting. Yeah, it sounds very fun. That they give good. me this, this ring, earring, because in her free time, he, he, he do it. He do it. And he, he made one for each one. Really, imagine that's good. Yes. See. Nice. Yeah, it sounds like you're going to have lots of fun. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Okay, next one is um, Arely. What are your plans for vacation? Hi, everybody. Hello. Um, I plan, uh, I'm going to visit my parents and Zacatecoluca. Um, I'm going to eat uh, a beach, to beach. And Saturday, Saturday, Saturday um, next, uh, I play with my niece. Um, then, and Sunday, I'm going to cook for dinner for my family. And all a uh, week, Relax. Okay, very good. That's it. It sounds very nice that you actually you're gonna do some things. I mean, you are gonna mm -hmm. go visit the beach and eat in there. That is a very nice activity because you eat and see the ocean, right? That is like relaxing. Yes. yes. Um, uh, I play uh, going to Puerto Puerto de la Libertad. Ah, okay. Yeah. La libertad, the, that whole, okay. Very good. That was the question I was going to ask you. I went, I'm not always going there, but I went like one year ago and it's very nice. Lots of shrimps, very cheap. Uh, you can eat a lot of things there, right? Very nice. Perfect. Thank you. Next one is Hilda. What are your plans for vacation? Hi. Well, uh, my plan, my, my vacation is the first is to stay at, uh, at home because I need to organize my closet. Um, I will watch Netflix. Netflix. Okay. I will, uh, on Saturday, I will participate in race on the beach called Beach Room in Costa del Sol. And we will go with my family to climb the Salco Volcano and cook for my family, like torrejas, pupusas, uh, many dishes. I enjoy a lot with them. Uh, only that because for prevention for COVID, we will not go out to grow place. Yeah, it's better, right, to stay at home sometimes. And uh, yes. what what kind of movies do you like? Uh, I will watch the I watching for right now uh, this one series mm -hmm. called the Grey's Anatomy. Ah, okay. Yes, it's very long. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I like I like it. It's difficult for me when I working because it's, it's I need. Uh, time, <laughs> yeah. but in the, on vacation is, is my opportunity. <laughs> that is true. That is a very good activity yes. that you can yes. do at home. Nice. Yes. Only that, yeah. teacher. Thank mm -hmm. you, Hilda. Okay. Uh, the next one is Gerardo. What are your plans for vacation? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, I had not been in that, but 
maybe I will go to the show for the activity in, in that week. And I, I wish I had rest in my house. Yeah, it sounds very nice. Go ahead. Yes. Maybe I I go to visit my, my family. <clears throat> but yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. I I am thinking about that because the situation is is complicated for for the pandemic. Only only that. Okay. Yeah, it sounds uh, interesting. And also, you are right. I mean, pandemic has changed many things. Uh, yeah. Where would you go and visit your uh, your relatives? In Metapan. Ah, okay. Metapan. There is kind of hot, they say, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. okay the next one is Elvis. Okay. Class for this next vacation is uh, with my friends at Casa de Cristal. We are going to set a set a fire, then we are going to sing, we are going to take mm -hmm. pictures, then we are going to eat a lot, then we are going to walk. As soon as we finish to walk, we are going to uh, take some pictures, some selfies, and then we are going to, at night, we are going to tell histories about our lives. Sounds very interesting, that activity. So it seems that you have planned that in detail, right? Yes, teacher. Good. And where is that place? Casa de Cristal, I don't know. What is that? It's, I, I don't remember the Verde? place. Yes. Oh, yeah. So Cerro Verde, Verde teacher. Ah, okay. Very good. Okay. Yeah, I need to, I need to go there. I never In this there. place, organize, okay. or they organize our organization for the claim the Volcano Santa Ana. Ah, yeah, that is true. I heard uh -huh. that. But I didn't yes. know that that was the place. Maybe I will research them. I mean, here I'm here very close, right? So probably I'm going to go there. That is a good activity. Perfect. Thank you. Um, everybody has done, has shared, right? Yeah, I guess everybody. Okay. So let's continue with the platform. So after uh, the section 5.3. Teacher. Uh -huh. uh, I want to share the form that I study English to get improved the write. Okay. Okay. I looking for the words that are very similar, very, very similar in pronunciation, but is different in the meaning and growth. Like oh. see, see, me think. I okay. guess the pronunciation is similar, but it's different. I, in the context, I know what it mean, but um, it's necessary to, to learn to write. So I look at think the o sea, pensamiento, lavadero y delgado. Entonces, and then I write each one. Um, 10 or 20 times each one. It depends upon if the, of the difficult of the work. Okay, very good. That is a very nice activity. And yeah, I believe that um, that is something that we need to start doing. I mean, we need to uh, not only come to the class and go to the platform, but do some other activities uh, so we can improve. So it's a very good activity. Thank you for sharing, Suyap. Okay. Cool. So uh, this is the final test. The first part is listening. So we just have to listen to the audio and then uh, check what it will be the correct answer. Any questions about this? No. 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 Okay. 
After that one, we have the vocabulary part that is about uh, completing this one. Any question about this? No. Okay, after that one, yeah, we have the part of enough or not enough of something. So like providing opinion with that one. Uh, do you have any question about this? No. 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 Good. And then we have the comparison part. So that is uh, where we need to check what would be the best option. Any questions about this? No. No. Good. Then we have wishes, wish and uh, kind of a little bit of grammar. So any questions about this part? Not this year. Not this year. Good. <laughs> then we have a comparative of simple past and present perfect. So any comment, questions about this? No. Good, good. Then we have future with will and going to. Uh, do you have any questions about this part? No. 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 Okay. And the last part, that is the reading comprehension. So you need to read this little paragraph and then select the option that is correct. Any question about this? No. <laughs> no. Okay. So everybody <laughs> has finished the platform, right? Yes. 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 Very good. Congratulations. I guess that you have your certificate already, right? Yes. 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 Very good. Yeah, that is important. So we have the, uh, the paper and also, uh, if it's possible, take a screenshot of the, of the graphic and keep it just in case something happens, okay? Okay. Good. So we're going to continue. Today we're going to do a, um, a little review of some important things. Uh, in general, in general, if we know the basic tenses, uh, we will be able to speak English. I mean, not maybe in detail, but we will be able to speak very well English with any other person. So the basic tenses are like the simple present tense, the present continuous, uh, the simple past, the uh, present perfect, uh, the future, and some other that are relative with this one. If you manage all these tenses, you will be able to understand or and communicate uh, in a well way. I mean, it's going to be good. So what we're going to do uh, today and tomorrow is to review some things about this. So the first one that we're going to check is simple present tense and the present continues. As you remember, in the simple present tense, we are going to use the subject plus the verb. It's very simple. On the other hand, with the present continuous, we use the subject, he, she, it, whatever you want, then the verb to be, right? In present. Of course, if I want to transform this into past continuous, the only thing that I need to do is to change the verb to be, okay? So I am is going to be I was and things like that. But by now we're going to focus on this. So we use the verb to be and then the verb with ing. So it's quite different. So when do we use this? For example, for um, whenever you want to express general truth, do you remember? It's simple present tense. For example, it really rains in the desert. That is a general truth. For the present continuous, we describe actions happening at the moment, right now. So for example, she is reading a newspaper upstairs. That is happening right now. Okay, then we have uh, for the simple present tense that we can indicate present habits, routines. For example, the birds return to the island every morning. That is an habit. On the other hand, we can use always with the present continuous when you want to express annoying habits, something that you don't like. For example, you're always forgetting to pay the bills. That means that it's not good. Um, you're always taking my clothes. 
um, you're always interrupting me when I'm watching TV. So that means that is not good, right? Always and the present continuous is a negative thing. Uh, for the simple present tense, we also use that for, uh, for you to express timetable events, something that is scheduled already. For example, the plane to London takes off at 6.30. So it's a schedule already. It's planned, but there is a schedule. For the present continuous, we can describe future arrangements that is kind of informal. For example, she's getting married on the 3rd of November. So that is an arrangement that it might change. Maybe the date, maybe the place, everything can change. The last one is uh, for the simple present tense to indicate permanent states, things that don't change. I like the new James for a bond film. So I like it, it's, it's not an action, it's something that I express, right? And uh, for the present continuous, we can express temporary states or changes. For example, she's working at the museum until the end of this month. That is temporary. So we can adjust the present continuous. Any questions with this letter review? No. no. Okay. Okay, and some uh, other situations, habits, remember, uh, let's see, facts, permanent, uh, okay, this part is important, that's why I brought this, let me see, temporary actions, okay, uh, with stative verbs, okay, stative verbs, as you can see here below, are as verbs that do not denote an action, so uh, these verbs, we use it to express feelings or things like that. For example, give me the money. I need it now. When I say I need, I don't do any action. So that is called stative verb. What happened? You look sad. In this case, you're not doing anything. You look sad. It seems you're sad. That is it. Okay. So let's check on that part. Verbs of sentence. So verbs that help us to feel, to sense something. Those are stated verbs, like hear, see, smell, look, seem, and sound. All those verbs are stated verbs. Also, there are verbs for opinion. I believe, I believe that this is fantastic. I don't do anything, I believe. Consider, like, have, hate, prefer, think. For possession, I have, I have a car. I don't do anything, right? I own, belong. Those are steady verbs. And we have others like agree, be, depend, need, mean, remember, realize, recognize, seem, want. All those verbs almost always are going to be used in the uh, simple present tense because it's going to express feelings or the way that you believe, or opinions, senses, possessions, and things like that. Do you have any question about this? No. Yeah. Good. So let's practice a little bit, okay? Okay, so. Uh, remember that we're going to choose between simple present tense and present continuous. So number one, how is it going to be? Present continuous for me. Continuous. Uh, can you please tell me how it's going to be? Uh -huh. Look, he lives in the house. He lives in the house. He, he, lives. Lives. he lives. He is living, right? Living. living. So, Who is? Look. Sorry, sorry. He is living. Good. That is it. Look, he's living in the house. Look is in the moment, right? Hey, right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is good. Number two, how's it gonna be? Mm. 
I'm writing a test. A test. Very good. Again, present, present continuous. So quiet, please. I'm writing a test at this very moment. Number three. She usually she is walking to school. Walk. 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 Ah. She usually walk. Well, that's not in the, mom the moment. That is not in the moment. Very good. So that is simple present tense, but it's missing Abby. something. So she usually. Abby. Is. Noise. No, no. Usually. She usually. So usually walk to school. Walk. 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 Mm -hmm. to school. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm helping she you. Walk to school. No walk, but walks. Walks. Yes. Walks. Third person. Third person. Okay. Yes. Walk. Yes. I forgot. <laughs> that happened. Third person. Third person. <laughs> but you know, this lady is makes a difference right so yes. we need to remember yes. that that's why we need to practice and that's why sometimes we do this kind of activities mm -hmm. but she usually walks to school good number four but look today is going, going by bike going she's by going by bike by bike very good she's, she's going, going by, bike. by bike nice but look today she's going by bike nice Number five, how's it gonna be? Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Every Sunday, we go. We go, we go to see my grandparents. To see my grandparents. Perfect. That is it. Every Sunday, we go to see my grandparents. Nice. Number six. Yeah. He often, he often to the cinema. Go, go to, the cinema. to the cinema. Good, you got it this time. Yeah. Nice. So yeah. he often <laughs> goes to the cinema. Yeah. Nice. Number seven, how is it going to be? We are playing. We are playing, we are playing Monopoly, 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 at Monopoly at the moment. Very good. We are playing Monopoly at the moment. Nice. Number eight. The shield. The shield. The shield. The shield. Seldom. Seldom. Is right. Right. Seldom. Right. Good. The it's child right. seldom. The child cries. Right. Right. Cries. Yeah. Very good. That is it. Uh, do you remember what is seldom, right? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> seldom is like <laughs> rarely. Like a. Rarely. Rarely. Ah, thank you. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the other one, number nine, how's it going to be? I'm not doing anything at the moment. I, I don't. Not doing, not doing anything at the moment. I'm Very good. Person continues. That is. I'm moment. not doing anything at the moment. And number 10, who's going to be? He watches the news regularly. He is. He is. He watches the news regularly. It's a question. He watches. It's a question. Uh, it's a, he he watches the news regularly. Is he regularly? Yeah, he watches the, the, the news regularly. The news regularly. Does he? Does does he does, watch does. the news? Yeah. Regularly? Does. does he watch does the he? news he regularly? Does he? That is because he's regularly. He's an avid, right? Yes. So it's yeah. going to be the simple present tense. Good. Good. Nice. Let's check the other part. Okay, number one, who's gonna be? This is Mark. This is Mark. This is Mark, right? Remember that is, am, are, only that. That is the simple present tense. Okay, number two. 
He's wearing a t-shirt with a shirt today. He's wearing a t-shirt and shorts today. Nice. Not a teacher, right? I'm a teacher. So number three. How is it going to be? He's eating an apple. He's eating an apple at the moment. Very good. He's eating an apple at the moment. Right now. Number four. How is it going to be? Mark likes fruits and vegetables. Good. Mark likes fruits and vegetables. Nice. Number five. He, he eats, eats some, some, some every, 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 every day. day. He eats some every day. Very good. Number six. Mark. Mark. Mark knows no, 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 that the apples are good for his health. Mark knows no. that apples are good. That is it. Good. Mark knows that apples mm -hmm. are good for his health. Mm -hmm. Nice, good. Perfect, perfect, liked it. Okay, a little bit more. Let's see how it goes this time. Number one. This is Caroline. This, this, this is Caroline. Caroline. This is Caroline. Very good. Caroline. This is Caroline. Number two. Caroline, uh -huh. Caroline uh -huh. is long, heavy, long, long blonde hair. Blonde hair. Caroline? Has long blonde hair. Caroline has long blonde hair. Very good. Mm -hmm. Number three. She usually, usually wears, wears glasses, but no she usually wear glasses, but she wearing contact lens. Wearing. That is it. She usually wears glasses, wears glasses. but now she but now is she wearing, wearing, is wearing contact, contact lenses. lenses. Good, good. Number four. Caroline, Caroline likes, Caroline likes, likes, likes sports. 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 Very good. Caroline likes sports. Good. Number five. She's playing handball. She plays handball every Monday and Thursday. She plays because it's a routine, it's an habit. Okay. So she plays handball every Monday and Thursday. Good. Let's check the other part here. Number one. Yeah, and and then best friends. Then, uh, yeah, and are best friends. Are our best friends. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I assume. Don't worry. That was a good one. I'm sorry. I couldn't. I couldn't stop my tongue. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Joe and Dennis. Our best, our best friends. My man has a um, dementia senile. Ah, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So and sometimes she is take the things and move the, to the other side, right. and then he looks for the sick. <laughs> and he don't remember where he. He hide them because he hide them things. And so ah, I, really, she hides. <laughs> so excuse me. <laughs> uh, don't worry. No, it's it's fine. Don't worry. We are friends here. Okay. okay. So uh, and, well, uh, that is normal. I mean, sometimes I myself do some things like that, uh, and sometimes I forget <laughs> what are things here as well. <clears throat> so that is normal. Uh, okay, that's, number two. That's a big part of my life. <laughs> <laughs> They often are meeting in the afternoon. The often. They often. The often. The often. It could be what? Ah, number two. Number two, yeah. Number two. So somebody said they often are meeting in the afternoon. Is that okay? Everybody agrees? They often. Uh, in the afternoon is the last sentence. Uh, is mm -hmm. number two. Uh, they, they often. In the afternoon. 
Yes. So it's are meeting yes. or meet? Are. I think may often meet. 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 It's meet because it's often. Meet. Often is frequently, uh, right? It's an yes. habit. So they often meet in the afternoon. Perfect. Number three. What? 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 The moment. Ah, okay. What do they? What are they doing at the moment? What they doing at the moment? What are they doing at the moment? Very good. What, what they, are? What are they doing? What are they doing at the moment? Good. What are they doing in the moment? Number um four. They they play football. Yeah, you can say they play football or they are playing football. Yeah. There, yeah. In that yeah. one, we don't know, right? We don't know if it's an habit or we don't know if it's in the moment or something like that. Probably it's better in this kind of situation to say that it's an habit. So they play football. Okay. Number five. The other one. They love they football. Love, they, they love, love football. football. They yeah. love football. This is the same case as the fourth one, right? It's uh, the same. Maybe the difference is that in the fourth might be they are playing football. It's possible. But in the number five, love is a stative verb. So we know that that for sure is simply present tense. Okay. Good. So uh, number six. Joe, Joe practices, Joe practices always, with father every week. Joe practices, practices with, father with, with his father every week. But Dennis, 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 I see the Dennis is not play, not playing not football play, every play. often. Play very often. often. But Dennis doesn't play football very often. Doesn't. Very good. Often, again. That's the key words right so joe practices with his father every weekend but dennis doesn't play, doesn't play football doesn't very, play. Often. very often very good okay. that is it okay interesting right when when we are mixing things <laughs> okay uh yeah we have time for the reading let's do a little reading about this one there are some questions here so what does brian do what time does he usually get up how does he usually go to work? Why is he driving to work today? So as you can see, it's also mixing, right? Simple present and present continuous. So number four, why is he driving to work today? Uh, what time does he arrive at work every day? When does he always have lunch? What time is he doing? Uh, well, what is he doing at 12 today? Why does he usually watch TV at 7.30? What time does he go to bed? And what time is he going to bed now? So kind of different. So let's see, uh, let me just move this. I guess it's going to be enough. Uh, are you able to see there? Yes. Yes. I, the reading is. Yes. <laughs> okay. So uh, let's repeat to practice a little bit, okay? Um, Brian is a doctor. Brian is a doctor. Brian is a doctor. He looks after sick people. He looks, he looks after, after, after sick, people. sick people. He usually gets up at six o'clock. He usually gets up, get up at six o'clock. Today he is late. Today, Today he is late. It is 6.30 and he's still in bed. It is 6.30 and he is still, in, he is still, in, still in, bed. in bed. He usually goes to work by train, but today he is driving to work. He usually, he usually goes, goes to work by train, by but today he is driving to work. Driving to work. He arrives at work at 6.30 every morning, but it's 7.30 now and he is still driving. He arrives at work at 7.30 every morning, but it's 7.30 now and he is still driving. It is 12 o'clock now. It is 12 o'clock now. He always has his lunch at 12, but today he isn't having lunch at 12. 
He always has his lunch at 12, but today he isn't having lunch at 12. He is looking after his sick patients. He's looking after his sick patients. It is half past seven now. It is half past seven now. Brian is watching TV. Brian is watching TV. He usually watches TV at half past seven because his favorite program starts at half past seven. He usually watches TV at half past seven because his favorite program starts at half past seven. Brian has his dinner at 8.30 every day and he's having dinner now. Brian, Brian has, has his dinner at 8.30 every day and he's having dinner now. It is 24 now. Brian is going to bed. It is, it is 24, 24 now. Brian, Brian is going, going to, bed. to bed. He always goes to bed at 24. He, he always goes, goes to bed at 24. 24. Okay, let's check the questions. Number one, what does Brian do? He's, he's, a he's a doctor. He's a doctor. He's a doctor. Good. Mm -hmm. What time does he usually get up? He usually get up at six o'clock. At six o'clock. Okay. Number three. How does he usually go to work? He usually, uh, usually goes to work. Three. Goes to work at work by train. Train. By train. Very good. By train. And then we have number uh, four. Why is he driving to work today? Um, because, because he is he asleep. He, he get up. He sleep over. Later. Yeah. He get sleep. Up later. He overslept. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, then we have number five. What time does he arrive at work every day? Six. He arrives at six yeah, every morning. Six. Very good at 6 30. Okay. Um, when does he always have his lunch? 12. 12. 12. And he always has his lunch at 12. Good. Number seven. What is he doing at 12 today? He's looking for right patients. Looking for. Yes. yes. He's looking for uh, his patients. Uh, and why does he usually watch TV at 7.30? Um, the program. That's the time favorite program. That's his favorite program. That is correct. Because his favorite program starts at half past seven. Nice. Uh, what time does he go to bed? He goes to bed. Uh, he always goes to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. 24. 24. What time is he going to bed now? He's going to bed at 24. At 24. That's the same answer. Good. You know, 24 is like midnight, right? That is really late, actually. Yes. At 12. Okay. Uh, there is another sentence here that is kind of interesting. Uh, we're going to use simple present or present continuous. So number one, uh, that is the only one, actually. Susan so, so usually goes to goes a school, to school, school, school by bus. By bus. By bus. But, but now, now she's now going to she... school by train. Very good. But now she's going to she's school. Going to school. Ah, going. Mm -hmm. By train. So Very nice. Going to school. Okay. Uh, do you have any question here in this little paragraph? No question. No question. question. <laughs> Okay, let's practice reading. Um, let's try to do it as fast as you can. Mr. Rivas, your first one. Okay. Brian is a doctor. He looks after sick people. He usually get up at six o'clock. Today he's late. It, it is 6.30 and he is still in bed. He usually goes to work by train, but today he is driving to work. He arrives at work at 6.30 every morning, but it is 7.30 now and he is still driving. It's 12 o'clock now. 
he always has his lunch at 12, but now to, but today he isn't having lunch at 12. He's looking after, sorry, he's looking after his sick patients. It is half past seven now. Brian is watching TV. He usually watches TV at half past seven because his favorite program starts at half past seven. Brian has his dinner at 8.30 every day and he is having dinner now. It is 24 now, Brian is going to bed. He always goes to bed at midnight. Very good, perfect, thank you. Arely, you're next. Brian is a doctor. He looks after sick people. He usually gets get up at six o'clock. Today he's late. It is six city and he's still in bed. He usually goes to work by train, but today is driving to work. He's arrived at work at six city every morning. Morning, but it is seven city now, and he is still driving. It is 12 o'clock now. He always has his lunch at 12, but today he isn't having lunch at 12. He's looking after his, his sick parents. It is half past seven now. Brian is watching TV. He usually, he usually watches. TV at half past seven because his favorite programs is there at half past seven. Brian has his dinner at a city every day and he is having dinner now. It is 12 now. Brian is going to bed. He always goes to bed at midnight at 44. Midnight 24. or 24 is 24. Fine. That's it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Next is going to be Margarita. Brian is a doctor. He looks after his, after sick people. He usually gets up at six o'clock. Today he is late. It is six thirty and he's still in bed. He usually goes to work by train, but today he's driving to work. He arrives at work at 6.30 every morning, but it is 7.30 now and he's still driving. It's 12 o'clock now. He always has his lunch at 12, but today he isn't having lunch at 12. He's looking after his sick patients. It is half past seven now. Brain is watching TV. He usually watches TV at half past seven because his favorite program starts at half past seven. Brain has his dinner at 8.30 every day and he's having dinner now. It is 24 hours now. Brain is going to bed. He always goes to bed at 24 Perfect, thank you. Next one is Gisela. Brian is a doctor. He looks after six people. He usually gets up at six o'clock. Today he is late. It is 6.30 and he is still in bed. He usually goes to work by train, but today he is driving to work. He arrives at work at 7.30 every morning, but is 7.30. Now he is still driving. It's 12 o'clock now. He always has his lunch at 12, at 12, but today he isn't having lunch at 12. He is looking after his sick passion. It is a half past seven now. Brian is watching TV. He usually watch TV at half past seven because his favorite program start at half past seven. Brian has his dinner at 8.30 every day, and he is having dinner now. It is 24 now. Brian is going to bed. He always goes to bed at midnight. Perfect, thank you. 
Next one is Lorena. Brian is a doctor. He looks after sick people. He usually gets up at six, at six o'clock. Today he is late. It is six thirty, and he is still in bed. He usually goes to work by train, but today he is dri driven to work. He arrives at work at six thirty every morning, but it, it is seven thirty now, and he is still driving. It's uh, it's uh, twelve o'clock now. He always has his lunch at twelve. But today he isn't having lunch at 12. He's looking after his sick patient. It is half past seven now. Brian is watching TV. He usually watches TV and at half uh, past seven because his favorite program starts at half past seven. Brian has his dinner at 8.30 every day and he's having, having dinner now. It is 12, uh, 24. Now Brian is going to bed. He always goes to bed at midnight. Perfect, thank you. Marilyn. Okay. Brian is a doctor. He looks after sick people. He usually gets at six o'clock. Today he is late. There is six thirty and he is still in bed. He usually goes to go by trying back, the, back today he is driving, driving to go. He arrives at go at 6.30 every morning, but it is 7.30 now, and he is still driver. It is 12 o'clock now. He always has his lunch at 12, but today he isn't having lunch at 12. He is looking after his patients. It's half past seven now. Brian is watching TV. He usually watches to be of half past seven because his favorite program is star of half past seven. Brian has his dinner at 8.30 every day and he is having dinner now. He is 24 now, Brian is going to bed. He always goes to bed at midnight. Perfect, thank you. Next one is okay. Hilda. Okay, teacher. Brian is a doctor. He looks after sick people. He usually gets up at six o'clock. Today he is late. He is at six thirty and he is still in bed. He usually goes to work by train, but today he is driving to work. He arrives at work at six thirty every morning, but is seven thirty now, and he is still driving. It's twelve o'clock now. He always has his lunch. At 12, but today he isn't having lunch. At 12, he is at 12. He is looking after his sick patients. It's a half, half past seven now. Brian is watching TV. He usually watches TV at all past seven because his favorite program starts at all past seven. Brian has <laughs> his dinner at 8.30 every day, and he is having dinner now. It is 24 now. Brian is going to bed. He always goes to bed at 24. Perfect, thank you. Gerardo, you're next. Brian is a doctor. He looks after sick people. He usually gets up at six o'clock. Today he's a late. It is 6.30 and he's still in bed. He usually goes to work by train, but today he's driving to work. He arrives at work at 6.30 every morning, but it is 7.30 now, and he is still driving. It's 12 o'clock. Now, he always has his lunch at 12, but today he isn't having lunch at 12. He is looking after his sick patient. It is half past 7 now. Brian is watching TV. He usually watches TV at half past 7 because his favorite program starts at half past 7. Brian has his dinner at 8.30 every day, and he is having dinner now. He is midnight now. Brian is going to bed. He always goes to bed at midnight. Perfect, thank you. And then the next is Elvis. 
Ryan is a doctor. He looks after sick people. He usually gets up at six o'clock. Today, he is late. It is six and 30 and he is still in bed. He usually goes to work by train, but today he's driving to work. He arrives at work at six and 30 every morning, but it is seven and 30 and he is still driving. It's 12 o'clock now. He always has his lunch at 12, but uh, today he's having lunch at 12. He is looking after his sick patients. It is half past seven now. Brian is watching TV. He usually watches TV at seven because his favorite program starts at half past seven. Brian has dinner at 8 and 30 every day and he is having dinner now. It is 24 o'clock now. Brian is going to bed. He always goes to bed at midnight. Perfect, thank you very much. Okay, my friends, um, do you have any question before we finish? I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, can we use the contract form in when we read a paragraph? For example, he's having dinner. Uh, we can say he's having dinner. Yeah, or... you can do that. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's Thank fine. You. You're welcome. Okay, um, any other question? No teacher. No teacher. Perfect. So uh, everybody has finished the platform already, right? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Good, good. So my friends, this is it for today. Uh, tomorrow is our last class. I hope you have a wonderful night and see you tomorrow. Okay. Good see night. You tomorrow. Good, good night. night. Good night. Bye. Bye.